Good morning, good evening, Facebook uh, friends of DX Engineering, also YouTube friends, I hope, of DX Engineering. Welcome to the DX Engineering New Product Showcase. Uh, this, uh, we don't have Hamvention this year, but we do have new products here at DX Engineering. And I'm very excited to have with me Steve, KC8YSU. Steve is our engineering manager, and he's going to be talking about some of the new products. Our national sales manager, Scott, N3RA, is here as well. He has a, a bunch of new products he's going to talk about. And our production and manufacturing manager, Corey, W3CDG, is also here. He's got a bunch of new products, and I even have some too. So settle down, have fun. Stay tuned. This is going to be a great event. And so now we're going to go to Corey, W3CDG. He's going to kick us off. Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing this morning? Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful morning and recovering from a great contest university last night. Um, got some DX engineering products here we're going to go through. We can uh, go ahead and get some of the pictures up. First thing we're going to do is we've kind of gone through and redone our Ballon line. Um, we now have what we call the MaxiCore 20. This is in honor of uh, DX Engineering's 20th anniversary. Uh, DX Engineering was launched in 2000. So for the 20th anniversary, we're launching a new Ballon line. It's the uh, MaxiCore 20. These uh, Ballons are tuned for, you know, the HF bands work up through, you know, about six meters. They do pretty well. We've got a one-to-one -one feed line choke. We have a one-to-one -one Ballon current ballon. Um, we've got a one-to-one -one current ballon with a Model T, which is for a tuner ballon. It can work a little bit better with non-resident antennas. Uh, that model also uh, tolerates a little bit operation at a higher SWR than, than the other one. And we have two four-to-ones. We have a current ballon and a voltage ballon. Uh, these will go to 200 to 50 ohms. Great for matching off-center fed dipoles. And I see, Joe, you just got your one-to-one -one on Wednesday. I'm glad it's working great for you. Um, you know, these ballons, new cores, a little bit different construction. They've got silver plated uh, connectors. The connectors have a Teflon dielectric. Everything is soldered inside. You know, we will early watch for cold flow. We pulls on it to keep moisture out. Um, it's, a, it's a great product and hopefully uh, help you guys uh, drop down some of your RFI. Uh, if you've got an antenna that's bringing some RF into the shack, Grab a maxi core feed line choke and put it on that antenna. It'll make a big, a big, big difference there. So that's one of our big products we've got coming up. To go along with that product, we also have a new ballon bracket kit. Um, we used to sell a feed line choke that worked great with verticals and different things like that. This bracket kit is set up. This can go on a uh, from about an inch and a half up to three inch steel pipe. It can mount the ballon either direction. It can mount it, you know, uh, horizontal or vertical. Uh, comes with all the hardware you need to mount the ballon, and then you do just need to get the uh, the clamps. You know, if you are going to a four by four or six by six post, you can use lag bolts, but uh, you will need clamps with this as well to mount it because we don't know what size post or what size mast you're going to mount it to. It can also work great on antennas and things like that. So. Another great product uh, to go along with our Ballon line that we have. It's also the, uh, with the Ballon line, we've got a lot of mounting options. You know, as we come up with new Ballons, we come up with different things. We've got a lot of kits to go with to make your life easier. You know, instead of just the Ballon, here you go. We've got a lot of ways to mount it. Um, this is the, uh, this is called the BN86 Ballon Upgrade Kit. This can upgrade a BN86 ballon to a um, little bit higher uh, quality ballon. This one comes with the ballon. It comes with a, a plate, and you get to pick um, based on the part number whether you want to go around an inch and a half mast or a two inch mast. As you see, we have the uh, studded stainless band clamps there. Um, it also has the, all the hardware to mount it. Also comes with some uh, solid wire there. That wires you can use with the ring terminals to, to mount it to your antenna, to your antenna feed point. So this is a one-to-one -one ballon. It has uh, studs on the side and, um, you know, put your coax in. Great for, you know, weatherproofing it, getting it out on the on the boom um, and go from there. It's a, it's a good good ballon for that. Comes with all the hardware. As you can see, we've got the star washers. 
we've got the all the ring terminals and everything you need included. So we actually, next thing we have is our stealth antenna, or this is not, the, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the high vis wire. Um, we, we're making a couple different types of antenna wire. We used to just have the, the nice black number 14 wire with the, the nice jacket that, that didn't kink up on you really well. We made a couple different options. This one is a high vis wire. This is great for field days. Um, comes in two different sizes. It comes in a uh, 27 gauge copper and a 14 gauge stranded. Uh, 14 gauge stranded is good for higher power, obviously. The 27 gauge copper is if really lightweight. Um, you know, 100 feet of this takes almost no space up. So if you're doing summits on the air or you're doing portable operation and you're going out uh, portable, you can grab a roll of this. It's really, really light. Um, it's also highly visible, so you can put it up. It comes in a couple different colors. It comes in uh, green, yellow, and pink. Uh, these colors are, are very visible when they're out, so you can see them, so you don't run into them. Um, like I said, great for field day operations or, or you know, summits on the air, parks on the air, things like that. Uh, the the twenty seven or the twenty six gauge wire is only 0 0.016 ounces per foot, so a hundred feet of that is like you know what one point six ounces of wire. That, that's nothing to carry in your backpack. Now understand that this wire is not UV protected. Um, you know, it's not really meant to be out long term. Um, it will cause the color to fade, but the whole point of it is to take it out in places where you wouldn't work normally. Let's see, we've got a lot of people here. I'm just trying to see what we've got. Um, glad, good to see everybody all over the place. Wow, great. Um, <clears throat> to go along with our high vis wire, you know, this is, oops, there's the uh, high vis wire that's great for, for field day and things like that. But you know, you might want to be able to set something up at your house that, that is not as visible. You know, people always people wondered when we brought this out, why do I want people to see my wire? It's great for field day. But a lot of people don't want people to see their wire. They're in a restricted area or something like that. We now have our stealth antenna wire. So this is pretty much the same thing as the, the small high vis wire that we talked about a little bit later earlier. It is a uh, 26 gauge black wire very hard to see um, this stuff is really thin now of course you don't want to be going you don't want to run a lot a lot of power through this but about 100 watts you know 100 watts in a wire here you go you can get this thing up this can get you on the air really quickly um, it can hide in the trees you'll never see it uh, great for a dipole you know center center uh, hung dipole or anything like that um, so hf wire operations nearly visible antenna wire you know pick up the DX engineering stealth wire. And I think that's it for me. Um, Tim, back to you. Oh, all right, Corey. Thanks very much for that. Um, uh, Tim Herrick, uh, KQ8M up uh, near Cleveland asked about uh, the power rating on the uh, Ballon. And, uh, you know, all of our uh, balance are rated for 1500 watts plus, um, you know, so the legal limit and then some, um, Corey, you know, these things can withstand uh, a great or uh, some pretty bad SWRs, especially um, when guys are using things like a G5 RV, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest thing you have to watch out for on power ratings and stuff like that, S, there's a lot of things that factor into a power rating. SWR of the antenna, you know, that really factors into it. You know, at a one-to-one, -one, we say that these can handle pretty much up to about, you know, 5,000 watts is what it, it's rated on there. But, you know, we're trying to also take into account connectors, you know, saturation of different things. So, you know, really power rating, if you have a resident antenna, legal limit, you should have no problem. Right, right. Uh, guys, we, we have, um, make sure you, uh, click in the live comments there, uh, to see, uh, we've got, uh, uh, Delta Lima one whiskey, whiskey from Germany. And, uh, we have Kilo Papa four radio Yankee from Puerto Rico. And, uh, Kevin, you guys have the best toys. Yes, we do. And I got a shack full of them here. I mean, you know, it's all over the place. Um, you know, one of the cashiers said to me once, uh, don't you have everything? 
<laughs> we don't have everything here. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We got uh, also from Germany, Delta Lima 6, Radio Delta India, or Radio Delta Echo. I'm sorry, Charlie. And uh, Alex from Australia, Victor Kilo 3, Juliet X-Ray. And Dave uh, says outstanding. Um, and we also have 9 Whiskey 8, Radio Alpha November. And uh, I do see that the uh, the sun is down there. It's uh, it's probably about 10 o'clock at night uh, over in Malaysia. <laughs> so thanks very much uh, for being here. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Kilo 4, Juliet, Charlie, Vince, nice to have you. And, of course, there's uh, Tim with the RTTY power rating. And um, uh, let's see. Joe, he just got his one-to-one -one uh, on Wednesday, and it's working great. So, uh, Corey, another great product out the door and in service. And uh, here's Gary, Kilo Bravo Zero, Delta Radio Sierra. And uh, good morning, Doug, W2 Germany Tango. And Mike, November 9, Yankee Bravo. And uh, Joe is Alpha Golf 7 X-Ray Hotel. So, um, we've got a, a great bunch of uh, folks on here today. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, uh, Ethan, November 9, Zulu Alpha. And uh, from Finley, November Alpha 8 Whiskey. Nice to have you on, Daryl. And John, Kilo 9, Delta Radio Sierra. And uh, there's, there's our friend Greg. I've known Greg for a long time. Kilo 9, India Golf. Nice to uh, have you. And uh, geez, it's Jeff. Kilo Bravo 8 Zulu Whiskey Tango for uh, our DX Engineering sh uh, showroom uh, guy. And also Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff, he's on with us. And good morning to you, Brian. Whiskey 3 Bravo Whiskey. Uh, very nice to have you. Let's see who else we have on here. Uh, we've got uh, Cameron, Kilo November 4, Charlie Fox, India. And uh, from the Netherlands, Adrian, uh, Papa Echo 2 Kilo. And uh, Lauren, November 1, Oscar Zulu, is that, uh, yeah, Oscar Zulu Juliet from Rhode Island. Nice to have you on, Lauren. And uh, Andrew, Victor Echo, 7, Victor Echo 6, Echo Norway in Alberta. And uh, Jerry, Kilo 8, Victor Golf Lima. So shout out to all of the viewers here this morning. We're having a great time at DX Engineering. And uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the chat, and we will do our best to uh, answer those questions. But great products, Corey. I'm, I'm pretty excited about the uh, the uh, black uh, antenna wire. I think from a stealth standpoint, that that's really super. And uh, I know a lot of the uh, summits on the air guys like the high vis wire because they're putting it up real quick, and as you said, it's lightweight. Um, so that, that is really, really good. And you, want to, you want to know something interesting, Tim, at least that I found, you know, you talk about having all the toys every day. You know, I look at, I look at our catalog and, you know, we got something new, you know, it's like, wow, we're always coming up with something new. And, you know, for all the years I've been here, there's things I'm like, wow, where'd this come from? You know, it's just, that's a really neat idea. So um, it is, it is neat to see and just have all those different things. And, you know, we think it up and let's make it. That's the way it works. And uh, that's a great thing, uh, Corey. And we take a lot of input from our customers. A lot of our ideas come from the customers. They say, hey, I'd like to have this. And that's what's different about DX Engineering. We make stuff. We invent stuff. We patent stuff. We, you know, and then we bring it to market so the guys can enjoy it. And uh, that that's what's really, really special about DX Engineering. So um, thank you, Corey for all you do and for these new products. And so let's uh, let's do a, a little bit of shout out here. Here's a Kilo 8 Mike Sugar Hotel. That's that's Mark, uh, who used to work for DX Engineering <laughs> and is one of our, our bloggers. Uh, Mark is a, a blogger on, on our blog, which is onallbands.com. Onallbands.com is our blog, and you'll find great writing uh, from Mark there. Uh, there's also uh, from Belgium. Here's Frank Oscar November two Zulu Zulu Tango, and um, uh, Dave uh, November three India Lima, 
Uh, thanks for tuning in today. And Steve, Kilo Fox 4, Germany Echo, Florida. And uh, Mike, Kilo Bar Bravo 1, Charlie, Kilo Fox from Pittsburgh. And uh, Dave, Kilo 3, Whiskey Hotel Delta. And Scott, November 9, Lima Juliet X-Ray. Nice to have you uh, on as well. We got, uh, we got a lot of folks tuning in. And uh, we have a lot more uh, to go here. Also, Bill, uh, we've got Ac Alpha Echo 4, Oscar Yankee tuned in, and Herm, WD8ABZ, and Brian, W7JET, and uh, let's see, Dave, he's waiting on masting from you folks today, and he's going to get up his new center-fed antenna and get on the air, hopefully for the Hamvention QSO party, and uh, good morning to Cameron, KN4CFI. So a um, lot of uh, folks uh, tuning in today, and uh, nice to have you, Jerry, Kilo Tango 4, Zulu Bravo, and Dawn, uh, November, November 8, Bravo, and uh, Scott uh, from Australia, Victor Kilo 3, Kilo Juliet, and uh, thanks for the kudos on the great service and quick delivery to Australia. So let's, uh, let's go to uh, Steve, KC8YSU, what do you have, Steve? Thanks, Tim. Uh, we're really excited about uh, our most recent uh, addition, and that is some um, uh, new cables that we have in our custom cable builder. Uh, we've added Times Microwave LMR 400, LMR 400 Ultraflex, and LMR 400 Direct Berry. Also LMR 600, LMR 600 Ultraflex, and LMR 600 Direct Berry to the cable builder, along with uh, several uh, times microwave connectors that fit those cables so that uh, customers can, can uh, use their four easy steps to, uh, to build the, the cable that they need for their application. Uh, so we have that added to our custom cable builder. We've also uh, added um, DX214 uh, cable in there so you can uh, build custom uh, RG214 type uh, cables when you need something with a, a high amount of shielding. Uh, that's a great cable to use. Uh, and then uh, the next thing we have uh, in the last year since last Hamvention, we've, we've uh, redesigned the whip antenna that fits on our active vertical. Uh, we used to use that 102 inch whip antenna but uh, just over a year ago, the carriers decided that uh, they wanted to charge a lot of money to ship long items. And so we decided that uh, th that was just not in the interest of our customers or us. And we took our uh, telescoping aluminum tube, took three 36 inch sections. We, uh, we drilled it in, and uh, so that you can put it together, bolt it together, and have a 102 inch whip. So the new DX Engineering DXE ARAV4 1P and the DXE ARAV4 2P are single packs and double packs uh, that have the electronics, the plate, the uh, everything you need except for the ground rod to mount it. Uh, in the ground. It's all in a, a, a nice convenient box that uh, ships without any shipping surcharges. So helps with uh, getting it delivered uh, with our free shipping. Uh, also, that makes it much more economical to ship internationally for our international customers as well. So uh, in addition to the, uh, the complete antenna packages, we also have a a replacement whip uh, in case something happens and you need just to replace that part. We have the ARAV-R. And if you have an older one and want to retrofit it, uh, you just take uh, the ARAV-H and use the old preamp uh, from your existing. And it has the, the black plate, the antenna, and all the hardware and wires to, to retrofit your old one in, in as new type of uh, uh, installation. So the, 
The next new product that we have is a new ground mount pipe that's two inches OD. It's a, a chromoly, uh, so it's a very strong mast. Uh, it's five foot four inches. Uh, and you use this to, to mount uh, uh, tall vertical antennas, um, such as the uh, DX Engineering MBVE 5A, uh, 43 foot uh, uh, multiband vertical, or uh, our DX Engineering uh, 7580 full size, uh, uh, the 7580FS-VA1. Uh, that would mount on here. And also our Omnitilt, uh, the DX Engineering Omnitilt could be here uh, mounted to this mast that you submit into the ground, uh, especially if you're putting a halfway vertical on, on top of a 10 foot mast that you would bolt to the Omnitilt. So just a convenient item that you can put in your cart and, and ship ground uh, uh, for your vertical antenna installation. Uh, the next product is the, uh, we have uh, a whole bunch of new pre-made Yesu rotator cables. Uh, so these are uh, in convenient lengths. Uh, with a 100 foot one, it would be a DXE-YRC-100PE. Uh, that, that's a pre-assembled no more having to solder tiny pins onto the individual conductors to fit in the uh, uh, that round connector. It's all pre-assembled for you and it's ready for plug and play application. So uh, convenient uh, pre-made uh, Yesu rotator cables to fit all of the uh, popular Yesu rotator models that we sell. Uh, the next thing is an adapter. Now, 716 DIN connectors are, are starting to, to be found in amateur radio in certain applications, but uh, a whole lot of equipment such as uh, an antenna analyzer or even your radio, uh, they still use SO239. So how do you adapt from 716 DIN to SO239? Well, you use this adapter that you see on the screen. So it's a 716 DIN male on one side and SO239 on the other. So that is a DXE-CA716M-SO239, SO239. So convenient adapter for those unique situations. We're always trying to, to look out and help customers find that, that, uh, that way to, to put it all together. And then the next uh, thing is we have a whole line of, of new um, turnbuckles uh, for guide tower applications. Just another uh, accessory item that we've added to, um, to the guide tower portfolio of products that we offer for our Roan and, and American Tower uh, uh, guide tower products that we sell. So these are in uh, three eighths um, in half, five eighths and three quarter size. So depending on what the, uh, the, uh, the guy, um, uh, uh, tension, uh, 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 requirements you have, you can select the right size. These are under a, it's under a, a DMV dash three dash eight dash TBE dash J. That would be the smaller one. Uh, and, and then there's a, a very similar part numbers for the other three. So that's available for us. And then finally, uh, we have the, the Transworld antenna, which has been quite popular and, and uh, is used all over. But there's this little tiny part that seems to get lost, uh, misplaced when people are breaking it down. And, and when they go to set it up, it's missing. And that's that little item on the left there. The, the little locking collar for the quadra stand uh, that uh, locks the four legs in there. So uh, for, for those of you that are missing that or you want to have a spare to make sure that you know where it is, uh, it's the DXE-TW-AQ-LOCK. 
the TWAQ lock. So that's the final product that I have to present. So back to you, Tim. Okay, Steve, uh, thanks very much. Uh, that was great. And uh, uh, Corey, I don't know uh, if you're able to put together some part numbers for the uh, for these products. Uh, the uh, chat is uh, asking for uh, uh, part numbers uh, that uh, Steve was going through the part numbers. And of course, you can replay this. Um, and if you go to the DX Engineering website and do a search on adapters, you're going to find uh, the DIN, uh, the 716 DIN uh, to SO239 adapter. Um, and uh, Steve also talked about uh, our turnbuckles. I'm very excited about that. Um, now, now I'm able to uh, get turnbuckles of DX Engineering, uh, high, very high quality ones too. Uh, and these are great for uh, your guide towers. And uh, the pre-made cables uh, that we have for Yesu rotators, it's just great. You know, how many t <laughs> soldering all those wires onto those pins of those connectors is just a, it's a hassle. You have to use, uh, you know, a vice and you got it. I mean, it's just really a hassle. So having them pre-made and ready to go, you just order them. And uh, I also like, you know, the vertical um, uh, uh, for the, for our vertical, the ground mount uh, tubes, having those short, uh, really strong tubes. A lot of guys had trouble sourcing those at their local hardware stores or uh, even going to pipe suppliers. So all you have to do is just, uh, look up our, our verticals and in the suggested parts, you're gonna find that mounting tube. And what a great upgrade uh, to the AVA, having the, uh, so that the, you know, you don't have that 108 inch vertical or uh, element, <clears throat> very expensive to ship these days. And uh, now it's a uh, uh, knockdown. And the custom cable builder, that is an amazing deal. It's right on the front page of the DX engineering website you go there it's very simple whatever cable you want uh, if you want rg400 you want rg214 you want lmr600 how long and then the the connectors that you want on the ends and when corey's team builds these things they they are masters of building cables and putting those connectors on correctly and then they they take and they test them they make sure that they're going to pass a high pot test up to 5,000 volts so that if there's anything wrong, Corey's team is going to figure that out before that cable ships to you. So um, the, uh, you know, the, the, there's, there's really a lot of great things uh, that we brought here to market. And you wouldn't believe the list of stuff that we're working on. Um, we are constantly adding new products. And hopefully you'll be getting a, a new DX engineering catalog here very soon. So let's, uh, 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 Katie said that she's going to add the part numbers uh, after the video is over. So the, all the part numbers will be put on, come back and watch it again. Let's see here. Uh, Larry says, when is the new rotor coming out? And what is the height of the unit with the mass clamp? Uh, is it taller than the TX2? Uh, I'm not sure what the TX2 is. Uh, the new rotor is slated to come out later this year. Uh, we've been doing a lot of enhancements to the rotor. We found some real good opportunities to make that rotor even better than what we showed last year at Hamvention. And we want to incorporate the best of the best. So you're going to see the rotor uh, later this year. And I'm not sure what is the... Uh, it's probably uh, the tail twister. Yeah, I, or compared to the tail twister, you know, I don't have that uh, right off the top of my head, but uh, we will have more details on the size of the uh, rotator here soon. And uh, Vincent said he used the custom cable builder, and it's great. Here's Ray Novak from ICOM. He said the pre-made rotor cables are great. Now have to have a pre-made starter capacitor kit. That would be a great thing. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll take a look at that. That would uh, that would be nice. Will you be speaking about availability of the new ICOM 705? Well, um, Ray Novak, uh, N9JA, was on Contest University yesterday, 
And uh, unfortunately, the 705 has been pushed back due to uh, the virus thing going on. So we don't know exactly when we're going to see the 705. But I can tell you, when the 705 hits, DX Engineering will have it. If you have a reservation, we're going to ship it to you right away. And uh, let's see. Here's uh, Chris. He says, loving my Geochron 4K Atlas on a 49-inch screen. And uh, that's where he's watching us now. And uh, so here we go. Let's see. Who else do we have? We have Lester. Uh, Kilo Fox 8 Uniform Uniform. Uh, when is the new catalog coming out? You will see it in your mailbox any day now. Um, it, uh, it's shipping as we speak, so you'll see it here very shortly. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, Echo India 9 Hotel Whiskey from Ireland. Uh, can you post the part numbers? Yes, we will do that. And uh, let's see, some operations for field day. And uh, let's see, good morning from Myrtle Beach. That's Mark, Kilo 2 Charlie Sugar X-Ray. And uh, Chris, please add the part numbers. We're going to do that. Is there a kit to take the 43-foot vertical and make it into a 65-foot vertical? Not now, but it is on our list of things that we want to do. So uh, to allow you to convert that uh, vertical into an 80-meter vertical. Um, yes. Uh, when is the store in Talmadge going to officially open back up? Well, <clears throat> The Summit Racing, the store itself is open. Um, and uh, so you can go inside and pick up your parts uh, or, you know, radios right now. No problem at all on that. Or you can do curbside, too. And that's very efficient, works very fast. You can call ahead or you can place your order right there in the parking lot. But you can go inside uh, Summit Racing. They, they opened up uh, this Tuesday, uh, this past Tuesday. So... But the, the DX Engineering showroom is not very well suited to allow more than one customer at a time in there and keep uh, social distance. So we've elected at the moment not to open the showroom, but if you go there, you can call us on the phone and pick up your stuff right there. Um, it's not quite as good as going in and turning the knobs on a radio. I get it. And uh, we're going to open up the showroom up just as soon as we feel comfortable and that we can uh, make sure that nobody uh, gets sick in the DX Engineering showroom. So um, that, that is the explanation on that. And uh, Frank says the custom cable builder is greatly appreciated. There's Bill, Kilo Zulu 3 India. And uh, Frank up in uh, Connecticut, KB1QZH and Jeff. K9 OBX and Jim N5 KTH, Chris W8 COP. Is that CQP? Uh, COP. Yeah, Chris, nice to have you. And uh, Scott uh, VK3 Kilo Juliet down in Australia. So let's see what uh, came in. Oh, here's our friend Richmond from Liberia. Uh, Richmond is the uh, president of the uh, Liberian Association over there, Echo Lima 2 Bravo Golf. Talked to Richmond on 40 meters uh, several evenings. And Floyd, uh, let's see, looking forward to it. George and Tommy produce a lot of great content. And uh, Jeff, good morning uh, from Kilo Echo 9 Bravo Victor. And from Paraguay, it's Zulu Papa 9 Mike Charlie Echo. And uh, so uh, Ray N9JA, who's watching now, says he'll be on Amateur Logic TV tonight with new information on the uh, IC705. And uh, Scott, if you can check your email there, he uh, says that he's uh, he sent us something good there. So uh, I'll, I'll check uh, the email while you're talking here in a minute. All right, All right. thanks. And Floyd, uh, great job yesterday with Contest University. And uh, let's see, here's Terry. Thank you so much for doing CTU. Enjoyed it so much. Look forward to getting a um, new catalog, and that's Kilo Echo 8 Charlie Victor Alpha. Thank you, Terry. And from Brazil, uh, Papa Uniform 2, Mike, Mike, Mike. And uh, good morning from Noze November Zulu 3 Kilo. Uh, Jason, nice to have you on board with us. So, uh, Scott, 
uh, November 3 Radio Alpha. Uh, what else do we have uh, for new products here? Go ahead, Scott. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Steve and Corey. Um, good morning and welcome to this new product showcase. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, we make a lot of awesome products here. Corey and his team produce great products. In addition to the stuff that we make and manufacture, uh, we also we also sell from a lot of a lot of products from a lot of other vendors, and we're very proud to do that. Um, so I'm going to talk about six new products from some of those vendors right now. And as you can see on the screen up first is that Rig Expert Stick 230 antenna analyzer. These analyzers are very compact. They're lightweight, they're powerful. They can measure and report data on SWR, return loss, complex impedance, and a variety of other parameters. They can measure antenna systems and cables and filters and, and, and more from 100 kilohertz through 230 megahertz and with an adjustable sweep width. Um, all the amateur bands are pre-programmed in there and you can select those or any center frequency and any center width you want if you want to analyze something different. A few of the things that you can do with the Stick 230. You can do rapid SWR and resonance check on antenna in the field, mobile, stationary. Tuning an antenna to resonance with complex impedances, read, reading out and shown graphically, numerically. You can compare characteristics of an antenna both before and after changes of a changes or specific events. If you have a windstorm or an ice storm or something like that. You can also measure capacitance and inductance of reactive loads, including coils and capacitors. You know, this Rig Expert 230 is is just the newest thing from Rig Expert, and they have an entire line of just outstanding analyzers. The Stick 230 comes with a rechargeable 2800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. You can power it from USB type C connection. It has an easy to read monochrome e paper screen that's 200 pixels by 200 pixels, and you get really good view on that. The complete sweep data may be sent by USB C uh, or Bluetooth to a laptop, smartphone, or tablet. I mean, you can run uh, Ray Expert's Ant Scope 2 software and do that. Uh, the USB C to A cable is included along with power. It also comes with a lanyard, which is really nice if you're uh, wanting to keep it close, as you can see on the picture. You know, that's what you get. Uh, there's a cable and the lanyard and the instructions and obviously the stick itself. It weighs only six and a half ounces. It's a little over seven inches by 1.3 inches by 1.6 inches. Um, it has all kinds of adjustments for impedance, amateur band sweeps by ITU region, sweep speeds, resolution, battery saver. It's a great product. Take a look at it. Um, if you go to our website, you can just search for uh, Stick 230, and it'll pop up. Read about it. There's documentation there. Uh, and whenever you're on our site, you'll always look at the documentation tab. That's a great place to see additional information. This Stick 230 and everything else is available, and uh, we hope you'll check it out. It's a great, great product. This next product I'm going to talk about um, you know, we had that comment in the uh, uh, in the chat about watching us on a 49-inch TV, which is a little scary, but we won't go there. Um, but as long as it talked about a Geocron, Geocron uh, uh, digital atlas, well, the Geo, Geocron just came out with a digital atlas 4K. It is, as you can see, absolutely beautiful display of the Earth with sunrise, sunset rendered in real time through a small computer that plugs directly into your TV via HDMI. The size of the Atlas 4K display is only limited by the size of your TV that you provide. You know, how, how is it different from different ver previous versions? The Atlas 4K is more powerful hardware platform, has four times faster refresh, a more capable Wi-Fi, it's a quad-core Intel processor, which gives it much faster uh, operation and menu operation. It's very sturdy, it's fanless mini computer. It's specifically designed for commercial environments that you might see in a restaurant or an airport, but it's brought to the amateur community as well. It's able to get future updates that you may not get on earlier versions, but it can get all kinds of updates. And it has the currently has the version two of the software on it. Uh, it's, it's a full-featured Geochron world clock 
on any 4K TV with every map set and lighting option available from their famous mechanical clock, but at a fraction of that cost. It's now in digital format. You can customize the markers and you can get real-time updates on the internet that you provide. You know, using your Wi-Fi in your home internet, you can get all these updates, including continuously updating weather overlays that include precipitation, wind speed, barometric pressure, temperature, cloud cover, and you can even do them in grayscale now if you want uh, for better live layer visibility. There's also lifetime updates for five different map sets. You know, geopolitical map set with human points of interest, geopolitical with oceanic points of interest, topographical view from space, and the amateur radio map sets, and there's also a low resolution geopolitical map set. You can get live uh, location of the International Space Station and over 300 satellites are up updated every second. So you can kind of see the, the satellite cloud as it, as it is occurring. You, there's even a high speed demonstration mode that plays one year of activity in 15 seconds. Uh, the static overlays that are available are the Earth at night, shipping routes, flight routes, various kinds of pollution. Um, you can get UTC with local time readout at the same time, automatic night dimming, and all kinds of other things. It's easy to set up, comes with everything you need except the TV and internet, and it is available now. Um, you do have to provide your own display, and if you want real time, you need internet service. They are ready to ship, and I would encourage you to take a look just, you know, if you search for Geocron on the DX Engineering website, you'll get all kinds of interesting information and more details about its capability. It's an absolutely beautiful piece of equipment. The next item I'm going to talk about is the Phonema Oscar speaker. It delivers, as they say, sound from the sky with an innovative overhead spherical design that envelops the listener in a great audio experience. It's designed to be hung above your head. Someday when we are able to open the store again, if you're able to visit, you'll see one there. It's, it's, it's hanging from the ceiling. It sits right above the operating position. It's intended to be there. It concentrates a 57 degree uh, audio beam, uh, which limits the sound outside of that area, but it, it's right above your head, right above your operating position, so it feels like the sound is, is from within. So it, uh, those have said it's, it's a little bit like having headphones on without the headphones. Um, it's, it's a very carefully designed, it uses top grade materials. Uh, it's clear, it's comfortable, it sounds great. From hearing weak CW um, to broadcast stations and everything in between, they're a great speaker and something you should really check out. There's currently, we sell the Oscar One, which is audio that is connected by a cable. This fall, we expect to have the Oscar 10, which is, will be connected by Bluetooth and will be a great addition to the, the Phonema lineup. Great product, they're in stock and ready to go. The next product we're gonna talk about are our, our newly uh, available MAT tuner. It's M-A-T, T-U-N-E-R, automatic antenna tuners. They cover a very broad impedance matching range from anywhere from five ohms up to 1500 ohms that help you achieve SWR handling that is far in excess of what a transceiver's internal tuning unit can do, and even many ex other external tuners. Uh, they're very well built and constructed. They have high quality multi-level PC, multi PC boards and very sleek and lightweight machined black oxide cases. There are six different models. Um, but depending on the model, the MAT tuner operates from a rig power or the supplied internal rechargeable battery. Uh, and so there are models that you can use portable in various other places. You can, you can use direct control from the fl front panel of interfaced ICOM, Kenwood, and Yezu transceivers, or simply use the one-touch automatic RF sense tuning, which is great. It's backed by INRAD, has a two-year parts and labor warranty, which is really good. That's from INRAD. Um, they're a great choice. There are six models available. I'll talk about a couple of them here. The MAT tuner, the MAT 40, which is an outdoor remote antenna tuner. It's an outdoor weatherproof long wire and vertical wire tuner. 
has a single wing nut antenna connector on the rear and you can you can do connection via icom uh there are two icom kenwin yezu transceivers uh for control it has comes with a 10 foot control cable you do need an adapter cable to use the tuner with those radios so you purchase an adapter along with the tuner it's made for permanent outdoor use it uses 50 ohm coax for feed line the tuner is used at the antenna feed point so it's uh, a lot of options there. Um, if you go look for the MAT-40, MAT-40 antenna tuner, you get a lot more information about it. I think you'll find it's pretty interesting and, and very valuable. The MAT-125E is our general purpose automatic antenna tuner. It can be used with any HF transceiver from 160 through 6 meters, has 16,000 frequency memories. It automatically tunes by RF sense. And while, while also featuring manual fine tuning that's available for CNL on the front panel, they can be used for QRP as the tuners only require 100 milliwatts to actuate. And it handles up to 120 watts SSB and CW, 30 watts digital and AM. No DC cable is required. Two lithium batteries are installed to provide power. Uh, and the charger for those is included uses very little power, has a lot of great features. Check them out on, on, on the DX Engineering website as well. I think you'll find that Matt Tuners provide a, a great opportunity and, uh, and I think you'll like what you see. The next uh, product I'm gonna talk about is the Compact Tenna Ham R7 antenna. And you can see a picture there, it's not the scale. Um, it is about 48 inches long maybe 40, just an inch or so less than that. It's a very compact antenna and that's its purpose. That particular HAM R7 antenna has a very special purpose in mind and those are some folks that are, are constrained um, and have issues, whether they're HOA or they don't have any place to put things, they need to put them in their attic or somewhere else. This is an option. It covers the 40, 20, and 10 meter phone segments and all of 6, 2, 220, and 440. It's kind of an unusual looking uh, small space antenna, you know, like I said, 46, 48 inches tall, but provides pretty good performance and uses uh, a, a unique uh, method of electric magnetic field diversity design. It's discussed more and it completely uh, on the website. They're rugged, they're weatherproof, radome style stealth antenna. It fits in an attic. Uh, a garage barn works well for their size. Uh, it fits and fills an important need um, in amateur radio with with a lot of uh, constraints that some folks have. You know, they, they can't put up a um, tower with uh, a Yagi or other outside antennas. And even putting verticals in the yard is sometimes not possible. And so there, the, there are antennas to fill some of those needs, and this is one of them. It's something I would encourage you to go to our website and search for Compact Tenna or you can search for ham r-7 and you will find more information on that than I can go over here very quickly. It's a it's a excellent antenna and one to consider if you are in a position where you need um, that stealth uh, capability. Generally operates with SWRs under two to one across, you know, parts of 40 meter phone, 20 meter phone, 10 meter phone, 6 to 220 and 440. And there's a couple different ways you can mount it. it. Handles up to 100 watts on all those bands at 50% duty cycle. It's ready for use as an indoor base or an inconspicuous outdoor antenna. It can be mounted in a variety of ways. And um, I look on on the web for more information. I think you'll find it uh, to be quite interesting. Uh, the last product I'm going to talk about today are Wemo transceiver lifting handles. You know they have um, these handles are to be installed on the sides of your transceiver. There you go, it's a great picture. Um, so it allows you to lift the transceiver and set it down vertically without risking damage to it in the rear connectors. It is available for a limited number of radios and it has two different styles depending on which radio you're looking at, uh, what's available. We do sell uh, them for the IC7610 and the 7600 for the FT-991A, 
And uh, for the 7300, the 9700, and the 8600, you can get angled and straight handles. Um, they have four mounting screws and some uh, adhesive tape to help with that process. They work great. They come from Wemo, which is a great company. And we encourage you to take a look at the website for those as well. And again, you can go to the website, dxengineering.com, and put in transceiver lifting handle, and I, you'll, it'll come right up. And I, I hope you'll take a look at those. They're, they're great, and they really can sometimes, you know, for moving a 7300 or a 7610 around, they're, they're, they're a great accessory and something I would encourage you to take a look at. That's it for me right now. I appreciate everybody listening. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd be glad to try to answer those. And if you don't, uh, that's okay. But don't forget to check out dxengineering.com for more details on these and everything else we have, along with uh, you know up to the up to the minute pricing and availability. And uh, I think that's it, Tim. Back to you. Okay, Scott. Thanks very much. And uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Katie, if if you'll take me to uh, full screen here. I want to uh, I want to talk about that Geochron for a second uh, that Scott was talking about, and uh, so I'm a Geochron junkie. <laughs> this this is a an 84 inch uh, a 4K Ultra TV. It's the best TV in the house, and it's dedicated to the Geochron. <laughs> um, this is uh, what uh, Patrick and the uh, gang at Geochron have done is just fantastic, and uh, I love this. This is great. And and why did I say I was a Geochron junkie? Well, there's a there's a Geochron mechanical. That's the uh, old style, and Melanie's got these on sale right now. That's over at the 160 meter position, and then over at the 20 meter position is another one, uh, the Geochron Ultra uh, or Geochron mechanical, and uh, then, then we have over at 40 meters, uh, and I think that's about a, a 60 inch uh, 4K Ultra. Uh, we've got another one, and I've got, uh, you can see the blue splotches over there uh, on that one. I've got the, the weather turned on so that uh, we can see where the rain is. Um, so, but uh, the, this, this is the most talked about thing when somebody visits K3LR is uh, the size of the uh, geochron and it's got all of the call sign prefixes are on there so that uh you've got that uh absolutely keeps great time i've got it hooked to the internet and uh, they keep improving the software and uh you can see where sunrise and sunset is uh, and it's uh and you can see where the sun is overhead so um it's just a beautiful uh, piece to your shack and uh, it's great for helping you work DX you want to know where that gray line is and uh, so it, it is it's super for that and uh, I encourage you to uh, check out the Geochron and Scott really went through some great products uh, the compact antenna if you get the compact antenna it's a small antenna and uh, you know Scott's degree is in physics so there are laws of physics. It's not a full-size dipole. It's not a full-size vertical, but it will get you on the air. That's the great thing. Um, in in uh, restricted areas, it will get you on the air. Um, you know, and and that's that's the whole idea of, of that. And uh, Dr. Jack up there in Cleveland does a tremendous job with the uh, compact uh, antenna and the new tuners. Very excited about the mat tuners and that overhead speaker, Scott. That that is really nice. I I walked into the store uh, when the uh, the guys put that up, and I said, "Wow, this sounds great!" And so, uh, really cool. And you know, and the stuff from Rig Expert uh, is so reliable. You know, you take it outside, and uh, you're working on antennas, and boy, you know, I can remember just having all sorts of uh, issues back you know 20 30 years ago trying to measure antennas out in the field and that new stick analyzer is just great uh let's see here what do we got uh uh no od green for the 991a um let's see i maybe that's about handles 
And uh, let's see, here's uh, Dawn from Michigan. Uh, Kilo Delta 8 Papa Alpha X-Ray, thanks for the nice comment. Alan, your shipping department is great. Always neat packaging. So thanks so much for the uh, bubble wrap, which we can reuse. Others use peanuts, which are messy and a pain to have to pick up. I, yeah, I got some peanut dust here from uh, something I had to get from Amazon uh, that, <laughs> that we don't sell. And uh, look, Robert is asking about the MFJ 1261. Melanie, you, you might be able to uh, address that. And uh, so what do we think about the 1261? Scott, do you know what an MFJ 1261 is? I am looking right now. And uh, is, go ahead. It's a, a mic rig switch, one mic to two rigs. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I do know a guy that has one, and he likes it. So... Um, yeah, Melanie may be able to put something in. If, I, I don't know if it's a product, uh, what our availability on that product is. I'd have to look. I don't have our, uh, I don't have our systems up at the moment, of course. Okay. But we'll, we can uh, certainly provide that. And let's see, Anthony uh, asks the question, Tim, does DX Engineering make their own version of LMR 400 UltraFlex coax uh, with, or without connectors on them in different lengths? If so, how much are they or from other manufacturers? Great job to everyone who participated in Contest University. The event was priceless. And that's from Anthony Kilo Golf 5, Julia Papa United. Uh, Anthony, uh, we uh, we do have our own version and uh, I think it's better. It's uh, the DXE uh, 400 Max and uh, Corey and his team uh, can make it uh, with any connectors you want on the ends. Just go to the custom cable builder. We also have uh, uh, pre-cut lengths ready to go with connectors on them on the shelf. And uh, typically the uh, custom cables go out in a day. Uh, sometimes it takes a day and a half, but um, most of the time Corey can get those cables uh, pushed out the same day. And uh, we do have uh, cut to length. So if you want a specific length and you want to put your own connectors on, we have uh, the DXE 400 Max uh, available. It's got a great jacket on it, low loss, uh, 50 ohms, and uh, it's, uh, it's got the, the foil shield as, as well as the braid shield. So it's really good quality cable. And uh, I use a lot of it here. Uh, let's see. Not in stock. Oh, the 1261, Melanie says, not in stock, but we can get it. Um, and uh, Vincent says, I'm getting ready to put up a Skyhawk. Will you be getting the Ballon upgrade kits back anytime soon? Or can you buy the uh, feed line straps separately? Uh, Corey, do you want to comment on that? Uh, yeah, we, we should have the uh, Ballon upgrade kits in, in pretty quickly. Um, we've got a few. We're waiting on some cores to come in, some different things like that. But you can buy the feed line straps separately, I believe. Um, I don't know if we have an actual part number, but if you call in, the guys can definitely help you. Uh, just tell them you need the feed line straps on a uh, Skyhawk Ballon, and we will we'll get you hooked up. Okay. And uh, uh, Scott, do you know there's a question here from Frank? He says, are the mat tuners – only designed for coax antennas, or are there models that can take uh, long wire, random wire antennas? Well, if you look at the Mat 40 tuner that I sort of briefly talked about, it does it. It has a. Uh, it's it's made for a long wire. So take it's made for it's a feed point uh, tuner. Uh, it's a remote feed point tuner, if you will. If you go to the website and type in Mat 40, uh, I think you can you'll be able to see. Uh, more details on that and all the rest of them for that matter. There's there's a QRP one. There's there are there are you know like I said five different or six different models. So take a look and uh, I think uh, it, that might be something you'd be interested in. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, and uh, here's Harry saying, uh, uh, is there a mounting solution for the map tuner with one of the MBBE-5 series of antennas? 
Um, I don't know that we've addressed that. No, I don't believe so. Yeah. Not, not directly. I mean, I'm sure you could experiment and come up with something that would work for you. I don't think we have a kit available uh, right now for that. Okay. Um, let's see. Joe says, I just started crimping coax instead of soldering, but some hams tell me I'm crazy. Love the strip and crimp tools. Sure makes things fast. Um, Corey, what do you think of the, uh, the, the uh, crimp connectors? You know, I mean, we use one of the things I think you guys have to realize, too, is, is if you're doing our 400 max cable, which is a great cable, it's got that foil shield, it's got an outer braid. You don't want to solder that. Um, if you solder that shield connector, you're not going to solder to that aluminum foil and you're going to have some, some, some gap in there. And that can cause intermod and a lot of problems. So really, for the 400 max, crimping is the way to go. And I will tell you, I've got, you know couple hundred crimp connections here in, in my station and that crimp tool just strip it right off put the ends on crimp it and away you go so yeah it does make the connectors go a lot faster that's for sure that's great and uh you know so many guys have i mean the the airlines have been doing crimp connectors forever a lot of our, our labs and so forth and uh, we've got the tools um steve and his guys have uh, made some tremendous tools to make it easy to strip and uh, so um, no reason not to go crimp and uh, here's Bobby from Switzerland Hotel Bravo 9 India India Victor and Wayne says do you have a beam tilt mount for an antenna 40 meter beam and uh, I'm sorry that uh, I don't believe we have that uh, a tilt mount for an e antenna 40 meter beam uh, that's from KN4TEE, and uh, let's see. Richard says, uh, Tim, will you be on for the Hamvention QSO party this weekend? That's Richard, K0 X-Ray Golf. I will be. I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. That's go to hvqp.org, hvqp.org, and uh, you can get the rules for the Hamvention QSO party to be held on the air tomorrow. Uh, starting at 12 Zulu, that's 8 o'clock uh, a.m. local time. It goes for 12 hours, and it's on CW and, and phone, and if you want to operate FT8, that's good, too. Uh, just get on the air and have some fun because uh, we won't be at Hambenchen, and uh, that's, uh, that's a, the sad part about it, but we're making the best of it, and, uh, of course, you, uh, I guess uh, Contest University uh, recordings will be out soon. Uh, the slide decks are up from yesterday. We had uh, almost 3,000 people that uh, participated in Contest University yesterday. So that was a great event. But you don't worry. Uh, the recordings are available, and uh, we'll see those soon. So let's, uh, let's look at some more uh, new products here. And uh, let's look at our uh, new uh, Z10020 filter. Um, so uh, Katie can uh, trim it down to me and let's uh, uh, look at the, this is a, this is a great uh, filter. This goes in um, our NCC2. It also uh, is a standalone uh, going into, uh, we have a housing you can plug it into. And uh, this is a broadcast band filter. Um, and it can also, uh, it, it, what it does is it protects um, your receiver from broadcast band interference, and so it it is a uh, it's a high pass filter, so it passes the higher frequencies, um, but it knocks down the broadcast band significantly. And uh, this is a, a, a filter that Clifton Labs came up with, and uh, and of course uh, we acquired uh, Clifton Labs just shortly before Jack Smith KZOA uh, became a silent key. And uh, now we've got it. So it's a plug-in for the NCC2. It also can be used in a standalone format. And uh, so this is, a, a, we just uh, got this done and uh, all lined up. And uh, boy, it knocks down the broadcast band by 50 or 60 dB. So it can really, really help. Um, and uh, so we've had a lot of these go into situations where guys live close to a, a broadcast uh, station 
and it's overloading the front of their receiver on 160 meters. This is the fix for that. Uh, next up is the RG214 cable assemblies. And here they are uh, with the uh, end connectors on them. And uh, RG214, uh, I think the first time I saw RG214 was on a uh, set of repeater uh, duplexers. RG214 is like RG213, only it's got two uh, braided shields. And so it has extra isolation uh, capabilities. And uh, it has about the same loss characteristics as RG213, but with the two braids, it really makes it great for high isolation applications. And I use RG214 here at K3LR uh, because of the multi-multi situation where we want to keep things out of things. <laughs> and uh, uh, I also like using RG400, which is also a double shielded cable. But RG214, this is a DX Engineering branded product. And uh, we, ha we have it in available in cut to length and also in uh, specific uh, lengths with connectors on them uh, as well. And it's in the cable builder. So RG214, high quality, double shielded. Uh, and these are uh, 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 silver plated uh, copper shields. So it's very, very high quality uh, cable. It's a little expensive, but when you need isolation, these are the cables for you. Uh, we also have uh, some RF attenuators now. And uh, these are great uh, if you need to knock down a signal. Uh, maybe it's on 160 meters. Uh, and uh, I use uh, these going into uh, some of the new SDR receivers on the low frequencies. And uh, we have them in 3 dB, 6 dB, and uh, 10 dB attenuation. And uh, these are great for uh, uh, 50 ohm cables uh, using BNC connectors that go right in line. You've got a, a BNC female and a BNC male. And uh, so uh, we have a line of attenuators now uh, that uh, you can use for receiver applications. They won't take much power. So uh, it's just good for uh, receiver applications, maybe even uh, in your lab as well. Uh, if you've got some test equipment that needs attenuation, um, these are great for that. Uh, let's see. We also have some new loads. Uh, we have these um, loads that you can use on uh, if, if you have a splitter combiner. You might need to have a load on that uh, to keep everything in balance. And we have these loads. These are 75 ohm loads and 50 ohm loads. Again, they won't take much power, but they're great for receiver applications. And um, finally, <clears throat> we have our ladder line surge protector, and uh, we also have a rebuild kit for this. Uh, this is a great uh, surge protector, helps uh, with static and uh, static discharge and, and lightning. Uh, you put this in line with your open wire feed, which is one of my favorite feed lines because the open wire is so low loss. And... Uh, so uh, this is a great product. It comes in a uh, weatherproof box, and uh, you put this outside, hook it up to a, a ground rod, and this will help protect uh, your radio equipment, your tuner, from uh, a static dis discharge and uh, lightning. And uh, in, in the event you do take a hit and it blows up, uh, we do have a rebuild kit, uh, parts that you can use to uh, rebuild this. So. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what do we have here. Uh, do you have fox hunt antenna attenuators? Um, well, the uh, switchable uh, attenuators, we do have uh, the, uh, that would be in the Elcraft uh, uh, kit area. So just search Elcraft on our, our website, and uh, there's a switchable uh, attenuator kit you can build. And... Uh, stuff i assume you have heat shrink for the next generation coax connectors need to pick some up stuff i have is too thick that's what joe says and and yes we do have that when when uh, corey makes these pre-made cables he always puts heat shrink uh on the back of them and uh that, that's really nice are your cables and assemblies made in the usa um 
the assemblies certainly are made in the USA. And we do have uh, uh, one of the uh, places that we use to uh, manufacture the cable is in the United States. And of course, Corey is here in the United States. He puts these things together uh, right uh, just outside of Talmadge. And uh, will 214 help with power line noise? Unfortunately, it will not. Um, 214 uh, power line noise is getting into your receiver and uh, you, you need to go fix the power line noise. Believe me when I tell you there's no filter that's going to take out uh, power line noise. Sorry about that. I wish we had something for that, Wayne. And uh, Billy uh, W3LAB says, nice show. Thanks for being on, uh, Billy. And uh, let's see, here's Jamie. KA6JEB says, yesterday was a terrific event. Thank you very much for that. So uh, that's what we have here this morning. It's uh, just 20 of the uh, new products. Um, you, any of you guys have your uh, EX Engineering catalog handy? Who's 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 got a catalog there? There it is. Uh, Scott and Steve have theirs uh, handy. My, mine's in the office. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, so this DX Engineering catalog, look for it. If, you, if you're a customer of DX Engineering, look for it in your mailbox here sometime in the next week, and uh, you'll see it. And if you're not a DX Engineering uh, customer currently, please request one, and uh, we will send one to you. It's a beautiful catalog. It's the best catalog that we've done yet. And uh, thanks to Melanie K KSU for all she does to uh, put that catalog together. It's uh, this this one is very it's thick. It's got all sorts of new stuff in it. But that catalog can't have everything in it. You got to go to the website. The website has everything we've got, and there's there's probably ten times more stuff on the website than it's in the catalog. The catalog would be this thick, you know, and nobody wants to have that much paper around these days. Go to the website, use the search engine, and uh, if you can't find what you want, call us up because uh, we'll help you. And uh, we, do, we don't have quite everything, but we're working on it. And if it doesn't exist, we're working on manufacturing it. That's what we do here at DX Engineering. So let's see. We've got uh, from Chris, Victor Kilo, 3 Fox Yankee. Corey, thanks for the manufacture of the phasing lines. Uh, that uh, that Corey uh, did for Victor, 84 Sugar Alpha Alpha, and Zulu Kilo 3 Alpha. Um, Chris, uh, thanks very much for your support and uh, for all you did to, to put those two D expeditions on. We're, we're very proud to be involved with you and the rest of the uh, teams that uh, did that. So, Chris, thanks very much for being here. I know it's starting to get uh, late in the evening over there. How do I know that? Well, look, you just go here to the Geochron, and you see on the Geochron that uh, Australia, it's uh, coming up on midnight. And uh, so <laughs> that's what's handy about this. You, you know what's going on around the world. And uh, so, uh, Chris, uh, thanks very much for being here. And uh, let's see, uh, Fred, great information. Uh, that's uh, Fred is uh, WD8AGH, and uh, so that is the uh, that's all we have for this time. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for being DX Engineering customers. And if you're not a DX Engineering customer, you should be. Try us out. Um, we have a whole team of uh, experienced guys that are on the air. They're on the air. They're involved in emergency communications. They're involved with their clubs. They're involved in DXing. They're involved in QRP. They're involved in CW. And they can help you. If you have a question, you call us. We're going to do everything we can to help you. And nobody ships faster. You get your order in today. It's likely going to ship tonight. Um, and, and that's what we do. And the box that we ship it in is a good box. And we had a customer talk about the bubble wrap that we use. Um, we have uh, professional shippers uh, and they work really fast. 
and we try to have everything you want in stock. Um, during this time, some things are out of stock just because the manufacturers have slowed down, but we're, we're working hard every day to get everything that you want and need for, for you to enjoy ham radio. So I hope to hear a lot of you tomorrow in the Hambenchen QSO party. It's gonna be a great event. Um, and we, we at DX Engineering are very proud to work very close with Hamvention. And uh, we brought the idea to the Hamvention folks and they said, absolutely. Uh, they, they embraced it and they're very excited about putting their uh, club station, W8BI will be on tomorrow. And that is, uh, you get additional points for working it. Again, go to hvqp.org and get on the air. That's where it's all going on. There's stuff going on 24 hours a day on the air and your friends are there. Let's see, one last shot here. Uh, Chris says, thank you for the great show, enjoyed it. And Chris says, are the shippers hams? Well, yeah, <laughs> some of them are. Uh, not every one of them, but uh, Brian uh, Bucky, he, he's, he's a great ham. He goes out and operates field day. And uh, so yeah, some of the shippers are. And uh, Vince uh, says, thanks for the great show, K4JC. And uh, Chris says, what time is that on? So uh, the, the contest starts at 12 Zulu, uh, 12 Zulu and goes to 24 Zulu. So it's 12 hours long, uh, the HVQP. And uh, Terry says, thanks for all you do for ham radio. That's uh, Kilo Echo 8 Charlie Victor Alpha. Terry, that's what makes this hobby so great is we all enjoy giving back. Uh, even th this show today, I mean, we all, we have a job, you know, we're all working at DX Engineering, but we have a fun time coming on here and talking about all the great products that we have and uh, the great company that we've built together at DX Engineering. And um, we have a whole team of people that are really dedicated uh, and are having a great time. I mean, how can you not enjoy your job when you're working for a, a ham radio company, you're doing what you love to do, ham radio, and yet your job is to is to help other hams. So uh, thanks, Terry, for being here. Thanks to all of you, and uh, thanks to Steve and Corey and Scott for coming on here with me this morning. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, I hope to hear you on the radio. So 73 from DX Engineering. 73. 73, everyone.